Men have devised a number of very ingenious weapons in their struggle against the forces of nature. Forces of nature. Deadly bacteria. Tetanus. Lockjaw. Bacillus welchi, gangrene, streptococcus, poisoner, crippler, killer, staphylococcus, distiller of pus from living tissue, invisible presence on the surface of the skin, keen for an open wound, eager to enter, to befoul the blood of a man. Preparing for an operation? <laughs> These men oppose with their feeble minds and hands the irresistible forces of nature. They perform a foolish ritual. They burden themselves with a ponderous chain of asepsis linking every man in surgery in a pompous ceremony of sterile hocus-pocus. <laughs> but men are frail, so very frail. One link is always weak. We'll find that link and break it. Your hands won't really be sterile if you scrub the full ten minutes. There are always a few germs left no matter how long you scrub. Well, if you enjoy this form of exercise, it's entirely up to you. Impossible. You men are impossible. Forever scrubbing, 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 scrubbing. Don't you ever stop? Isn't there even a single one of you? Well, come in. Happy to see you. You're late. Better late than early. But you'll have time to scrub. You can go through the motions and finish with the rest. Twenty-five after. You can get by once without scrubbing the full ten minutes. What are a few thousand germs more or less? All right, you're finished. That's right. You can knock off now. You've scrubbed enough. See, you've scrubbed two minutes. Two entire minutes. Oh, very well. Give it a last lick. There's no harm in exercising your hide a little more. There's still time. Just as well that you don't see the spectacle created by this incessant rubbing and scrubbing of the skin, its hairs and tiny scales, dislodging the microscopic bacteria, staphylococci, deadly and invisible. Five 
minutes all together. Hurry up, they're waiting for you. That's a sensible fellow. Why be a slave to a routine? Wait a minute. What's this? Feel a sneeze coming on? Relax. Everything will be all right. That does it. <laughs> Out of the throat and nose, streptococcus. Just his mask. He might sneeze suddenly. <laughs> and be careful not to touch his sterile lily white gown. Bacteria, you know. By all means, some powder. Makes the gloves slip on either. That will keep the little fellow safe for a while. You said nothing was going to happen. Oh, so you're the instrument man. Well, and here's our patient. you cut your glove. Discard the instrument that you've contaminated. Don't sterilize them all. There isn't time. One of those. Well, one of these. Come on, take one. All right, you choose. Fine. Discard that one. Excellent choice, but we'll take this one. <laughs> the chain is broken. What a lovely comedy. Tedious hours of scrubbing. Equipment, instruments sterilized. Endless field days. <laughs> Even the air is filtered. Study, training, research. Pretentious hospital. Millions of dollars. Lifetimes of service. Lister, Pasteur, Harvey, Vesalius, Hippocrates. The whole tradition of man's struggle against disease. Blasted by one fumbling cord. Why do you hesitate? <laughs> Is your surgical conscience bothering you? Don't let it worry you too much. It's too late to back out now. It would be quite embarrassing, wouldn't it, to admit the reason, your petty theft of time. Go on, pass the retractor. The 
one that's contaminated. <laughs> Feeling a little better? How's the leg? <laughs> well, just a few days more now and we'll know a great deal more. outside if the eye the blind eye of a man could plumb the flesh penetrate the skin and fat and muscle approach the bone he would see in the depths of the new incision a pool of plasma and a clot of blood Red corpuscles, millions, shriveled up, lashed together with strands of fiber. Warm, dark, a delightful retreat for microbes. Excellent climate. No prying leukocytes, plenty of fresh, warm plasma. That's what he likes, plasma. <laughs> Hey, the 
you see what I see?
thousands of chains, growing into a capillary, plugged with some clotted blood. Into the capillary, into the bloodstream. Doesn't the patient look fine? The instruments? Maybe it was one of the instruments. Was it your fault, Doctor? Doctor, is your crew dependable?
forget the cane. You're going to need it for the rest of your life.